it is your buddy, Peace and Harmony, with you here today. Much love going out to all the beautiful, empowered harmonizers. And we're zooming in and focusing in a little bit more in depth on, I feel, what is a very important and significant topic. And that is, how do you handle the fear that oftentimes and intimidation that one feels when they're in a relationship or trying to get things sorted out? make some headway with a relationship with someone who is malignant, narcissist, or psychopathic. Um, the intimidation is a very real causative factor to keeping you stuck, stuck in the wrong place, stuck with the wrong person, stuck with the wrong vibe, you know, spinning your wheels and going nowhere. And the fear and intimidation, I think is very important for people to get out of that cycle. Um, and, it is also important because not only does that fear release a lot of cortisol, a lot of stress hormones into your blood system, which causes, you know, the anxiety, then the crash, the depression, um, it causes the unhappiness. Namely though, what's important is for you to understand is how it corrupts and misguides your self-esteem. And it's to understand that especially in relationships with people who are man manipulative, who are deceitful, who are in it for their own, they want it all and they don't care what they have to do, but they're going to hurt some people, take some people down in order to get there. So you can be an innocent bystander. You can be doing your thing, but the minute, you know, just humming along in your life, no matter what age you, you met this person at, you, you, you could have been born into this as a family. You might've met them as a teenager. You might've met them as a young adult in your twenties. You might've met them later in your life. You know, when you were really vulnerable, really sore, really lonely, um, really needing companionship. And then this person came through with like this love bombing and, you know, you, you felt that you had all of a sudden you were learning so much in a short amount of time, yet, you know, you found out some very hurtful things. Um, and you are then in this intimidation. The intimidation though, I feel oftentimes is set up in the love bombing stage. Um, even though it's not registering, that's part of the resonance that keeps you hooked as supply Especially, I, I would say, for more pe more so people who are of the antisocial character, who are truly psychopathic, who don't, you know, they've probably been troubled since childhood, yet, but they're very charming, so they cover it up. You know, they, they can easily put a mask on their, their antisocial, cruel, callous, you know, very cold, distant ways you know, which are, are very cold and callous, meaning unfeeling and also, you know, hurtful physically, you know, towards others and sort of getting into a lot of scuffs with people. Um, and so you'll kind of find this meandering route where they have a lot of scuffs, but yet you really don't see their history. Um, and so there's there are always a lot of missing pieces with these individuals. And so it does create this sort of gap, this sort of cognitive dissonance within your, you know, your subconscious connection with them and then really what you're getting. Um, and so it is so very important for you to not be intimidated because that is really where they get you to lose perspective and lose really what I would say track of reality and get things shrunk down to size. Remember that the psychopath will break people down by causing you to always be thinking about them. And one of the surefire ways for them to get you to always be thinking about them is for them to plant seeds of self-doubt and paranoia, including that of lack of, you know, including planting seeds that make you completely oblivious to your own strengths, your own qualities, your own endearing self. In other words, people oftentimes really feel complete, oftentimes self-hatred, that they're not good enough. This 
whole tape running through them is strictly in and to my knowledge and my experience with working with these types of individuals and how they sort of corrupt others and take down the best of the best is because <clears throat> they're able to plant seeds of self-doubt and lack of self-trust and really <clears throat> shut down that sort of ability of someone to recognize and see their, their good, their strengths, their talents, their accomplishments, it's not all that bad. You know, there's these sneaky conniving ways that they kind of go around and in between and to the side where they get you then to feel that, you know, nothing that you have is worthwhile. You are not worthwhile. You know, you, you're, you should not be where you are. You should not this, you should not that, you know, make, you know, the smear campaign like you wouldn't believe. And you're like, we're just trying to do this here. And here you come along painting everything red, pink, and purple. And like, that's all we see now. Like, it's just, in other words, it's a way for them to always stay in front of you. They break people down. And namely, through of intimidation, i.e., because they are so callous, they're often quite fearless and often their, their manipulation is so very undetectable to the human eye that you don't realize that the seeds are being planted, that they're lying through their teeth. People cannot see it. They do not know what's going on. In fact, they're just, you know, oh, yeah. you know, whenever they're around, and they don't realize how self, how <clears throat> self-centered it is even too gentle a word. Um, antisocial is really the word. Um, psychopathic is really the word. I mean, it's very difficult. Um, until you've really encountered and exposed one of these people, you don't really know what you're dealing with. You can tell people stories all day long, you know, and all, oh, you know, it was just, you know, Oh, it was just someone who was greedy. It was someone who was jealous. It was someone who was young. It was someone who was old. Someone who was just having an affair. Someone, you know, they they don't understand. It doesn't fit that explanation. You, you're, that's not it. You know, this, but the psychopath will completely obliterate your senses. In other words, be like a, you know, like a dark cloud on your sunny day. And the dark cloud tries to cover you so completely that you can't see yourself. You can't see your own humanity. You cannot even see the, your humanness. You know, um, a viewer made a very uh, prophetic statement saying, um, you know, I, I just can't stand it. I feel like I'm not good enough. This has nothing to do with reality. This statement has nothing to do with the truth. You are good enough. You are beautiful. You are talented. You are caring. All these qualities that have not been reflected back to you, they've been turned against you as if your weakness. The It is very, very sly. And it is very, you know, it, it takes someone with spidey sense. I was alluding to this earlier. To someone who has who has exposed these types of people to know how they work and see how it is coming along through the whole popcorn trail so that you're seeing it through eyes of perception and you're not falling for it, but you can see it and you know it and you can just ob observe it from the outside. Um, and it's to understand that the seeds of doubt, of self-incrimination, it's like people just end up self-imploding. Um, this feeling has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with the brainwashing and gaslighting that this individual will inflict. Smear campaign, being secretive, um, telling a lies, you know, um, you know, uh, doing, you know, putting up bad words about you, bad um, bad statements, lies, um, making things seem, you know, out of proportion, you know, being, creating and instilling fear, creating and instilling paranoia. Um, these are 
psychopathic tactics where everything seems all, you know, all of a sudden it's very much all about their manipulation, their divisiveness. Um, it is completely a fabrication and a, a staged act. It is nothing but theatrics. Yet, this person didn't seem like they were in theatrics. In fact, you thought that this person was your love, your main squeeze, your parent, your teacher, your boss, whoever it is. I'm just getting back here. Um, it's like your brain has gotten completely offline if you're having this sort of self-talk um, that you're not good enough. This is nothing but the torturous feeling that a psychopath will seek to instill in the individuals with whom they wish to manipulate and see, wreathe, and struggle in pain. So do not give in. If you are feeling these lost feelings, um, it is because this individual is, you know, is trying to get a reaction and it can be you, it can be the mailman. You just happen to be an innocent bystander who got caught up and then you're taking it to task. You're taking it toe to toe. You've gotten belly to belly. Now you're cheek to cheek. Now you're, you know, really hammering it out and you're struggling um, you know, for this, you know, for this, for your sanity. And it's to understand that the intimidation is the fear that they plant, the instilling that is oftentimes when you really step back and think about it, a lot of people talk about going um, gray rock. Um, I call it going clear rock, meaning just really look at what that paranoia is. Am I going to cheat on you? Go cheat. Am I going to, you know, the, do that? You know, do you see, but you got to temper it down. You got to bring, you got to bring it down and say, okay, this is all it is. This is all it is. It, it, it doesn't have anything to do with me. The smear campaign, here's a person who's trying to rat me out, make it look like they're all puffed up, like. You know, they're just trying to puff themselves off. This is what the psychopath does. It's very important, though, to understand that a psychopath will manipulate others. And I'm sorry, I'm just kind of going through some things out of my uh, computer here. I sit um, while we're doing this. It's very important for you to understand that a psychopath will use position, titles, um, love, interests, romantics, whatever it is, strengths and qualities, your talents, um, these lures that are, you know, trigger points or passion centers for you. They will then make, so it's just like if you were to tempt a child who is five years old, it's like the age old, you know, there comes the guy with the candy and the child will go for the ice cream. So it's the same thing. The tempt they lure their subjects, their supply with similar baits. Um, I'm the it guy. Um, I'm the guy with the laugh. I'm the guy with the context. I'm the guy who's the guy's guy. So everybody wants to be cool over there. It's nothing but a fabrication. The guy does not care about being the guy's guy. He just wants to be in control. He wants to study and look at people and check them out. And they're watching for every little flinch, every little flail, every little this. They're scoping you out and they're just kind of putting together some stuff about how they're going to turn your good, genuine qualities against you. So you, you're you losing this as, these aspects, which you hold dear, to vaporize it and turn it against you and to basically destroy, deconstruct you. Um, and so the intimidation is oftentimes that. So to me, um, having worked with um, many of these types of individuals in seeing what they do to others and leading others to self-destruction is a very sickening, sadistic thing, yet a psychopath Again, there's so much to this, but it is what 
gives them happiness, joy, um, entertainment, what they thrive on, what they live off of, their chi, if you will. You know, you might be driven by family values, the desire to grow professionally, the desire to be a great mother. You know, that's your drive. That's your thing. Okay, this is their thing and it ain't something that you're familiar with. Okay, so the fear that you're feeling is that combination of the gaslighting, of having things twisted, contorted, the enigmas, the things that just don't make sense. Yet you've, you know, you're... Your reticular activating system has bought into their illusion. And so you're like along their their popcorn trail to the point you're in, then you're walking on a bunch of sticks that actually is covering up a huge hole that never ends going down. And you thought you were going on a meadow and, you know, da da da, you know, P Prince Charming, you know, is leading you. Here you go in the hole, ta da. And then they're like, you know, told you so, you self imploded, you know, I told you this was going to happen, you know, this is a sad state of affairs for people who have been victimized by these types of individuals. And it is for you to understand that their smirks, their planted props of emotions, um, are, they're, uh, the, they are mimicry. If you can only understand that a psychopath mimics emotions, mimics and studies, mimics and studies. So that's why you can see their behavior. Um, you know, you get a twist spidey sense where you see that they move things unnaturally, inorganically, i.e. not human of emotion. The way that they move their body, I am to a degree where, you know, once you learn, you'll have a wisdom, you'll have a wisdom, you know, about you that you're like, okay, I know what's what, the, you know, pushing things, what is manipulation versus what is conversation, you know, um, you, you, you'll, you can see through it, you know, that things don't add up, but for the untrained eye, ah, this is adding up to be la 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 la, you know, but then, you know, the fear is where they really get you. Um, and oftentimes it's to blow things out of control and get you, you know, your heart racing, you know, you're hyperventilating, you're freaking out, you're making mistakes, you know, you're, you can't do anything right. You feel like you can't make things to eat. You can't make things to drink. You can't drive your car. You can't read a book. You can't listen to TV. I mean, you can't do anything. That is nothing but psychopathic emotional residue. This is, don't worry, this will get better. Do not give in. Repeat, I am not threatened. I am not threatened. And there's a peace and indifference and a neutrality with which you need to take with this person. But then furthermore, not to deprive yourself of going forward, moving forward in your life, in your relationships, um, you know, I've had clients who, you know, they're like, I'm, I just have to move. I mean, I, I literally have to move states. I have to, you know, move this. They, they just, they cannot be in that same environment anymore. It has too much of that residue. It's literally, um, I feel it's a very palpable, um, energy that just, I mean, you don't even, ha um, you know, they don't even have to speak the words. There's something in their body language and the hard wiring where, and psychopaths know who's other other psychopaths, and they they can talk about each other and how they plant normal people to get them to fall into their traps. It's very insidious, but do not be intimidated. Repeat to yourself: I am safe. I am not threatened. I am not intimidated. I am not threatened. Know this to be your truth, and despite this, be wise and be understanding of how these individuals try to blow, you know, get, break you down. Once again, the brainwashing and the gaslighting to get things distorted, convoluted, seeing things not through your own eyes, but through their manipulation, begin to separate and begin to see what you have and have gratitude. It's your buddy. Peace and harmony with you here today. I hope that these videos do help. 
Please share and please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussion, and support. Just be calm. You have what you have. What you have is yours. Do not be intimidated. Peace out. Have a beautiful day.